Plus, a former district hot spring police chief talks exclusively to News Channel 3 about a former cop investigated for child molestation. It's a story you'll only see on News Channel 3. Now, from the desert's news leader, KESQ News Channel 3, live at 5. Hello, I'm John White. Elizabeth Bobian has the night off. Former Desert Hot Springs Police Chief Roy Hill talked exclusively with News Channel 3 in response to our investigation that an officer molested a 14-year-old girl. That officer was never charged, even though two people on the force are on record now saying the sex crime was caught on videotape. We first brought you this story Thursday on Live at 5. Today, News Channel 3's Nathan Baca has more on why the district attorney's office never filed charges. Nathan. Even if the family at the center of this sting operation was not cooperating, as the district attorney says, then why was there no in-depth investigation into two other accusations? First, that Officer Jacques Lillian committed other sex crimes. Second, that he also gave up secrets of ongoing police investigations to criminals. Desert Hot Springs Detective Radimus Gill goes on record about a 2003 sting operation where he says he witnessed a fellow officer, Jacques Millian, enter this hotel room and molest a 14-year-old girl. He went right up to my daughter and pretty much like, you know, grabbed a hold of her, forced himself on her and was telling her how he wanted to make love to her. Now, former police chief Roy Hill talks about what he saw on the videotape. I remember him taking the girl by hand, standing her up and he put his hand around her waist and he kissed her. It was clearly uh, the police officer in uniform and it was clearly the 14-year-old uh, the girl. The district attorney's office never filed charges. I think it was very, very good evidence uh, that I had hoped the district attorney's office would move forward with. Uh, I had requested Sergeant Gill take it to the DA, which he did. Were you frustrated with the district attorney's office? Yes, I was. I was. The DA's office says that the 14-year-old girl's family was not cooperative with their investigation. The girl tells News Channel 3 that inside the police station, she signed a letter. Sergeant Gill and um, talked to us, and then we went into the police station, and uh, they pretty much had my daughter convinced that nothing was ever going to come out of this, and that, uh, you know, he pretty much, the only thing that could be done to him had been done, and that, um, you know, all her, uh, everything she had to go through was only worth like $2,000. So, so they gave her $2,000? Yeah, and told her to pretty much get on with her life. But Detective Gill also goes on record to say Jacques Millian was giving out secrets of police investigations to others. He told my daughter all about uh, all the raids they were going to be doing, all the places that were going to be hit. The really scary part about that is, if it's true, Officer Millian was jeopardizing other officers' lives. We cannot ask the DA investigator who worked on this case why the DA's office decided not to further look into Officer Millian. Investigator David McGowan murdered his entire family, then killed himself just days before he was to testify in the same arbitration hearing in which the molestation was brought to light. We are now learning of another former Desert Hot Springs officer who was accused of child molestation and other crimes. One of the original investigating officers tells us that the DA's office never filed charges in that case either. We are investigating the case and we'll have the latest in the next few days right here on News Channel 3. Nathan Baca, KESQ News Channel 3, back to you. Thank you, Nathan. To read Detective Gill's account of the molestation caught on tape, log on to KESQ.com, click on the News tab on the main page, then click on the banner that reads inside the DA's office. You'll also find all of the parts in this News Channel 3 exclusive investigation there. Again, just click on the news tab at KESQ.com.